Okay, this is kind of exciting. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you understand that I've been showing that the dipole electron flood theory using muon neutrinos could power a box like this to run a car, a house, whatever you want. And I'd say they could get many thousands of watts out of this. Now somebody apparently has come up with another design, and I looked into this, and it may work. It uses a whole different technology. It uses uh, um, graphene uh, fiber plates bouncing back and forth to stimulate electrons. Now, will it work? I don't know. Will mine work? I don't know. But I can show you that we're basically doing the same thing. I'm using pulsed laser. They're using some kind of vibration. I'm not exactly sure what. And I don't know if it's working yet. But they claim that little box, which is approximately this size, will do about 5,000 free energy watts. 5,000 watts is a lot of energy. I have a generator here that's 5,500 watts. Almost the same. But it's nothing like that. Mine is like a, you know, a couple hundred pounds. And, um, but it's portable. You could fire it up, but you have to put gas in it. That, once you start it up, you run forever. It takes, they claim now, this is not my claims, this is what they, I've been looking into, and I'm not going to say the name of it or anything about it, other than the fact that if it runs on neutrino power, it could be this size. Yes, I agree. And, um, let me show you what I'm proposing for mine. I've shown this many times. Let me just, I think I have it sitting around here somewhere. Hold on, take it easy, slow down. I can't find it. Never fails when I want to find something. Aha! Nothing stays hidden forever. Now, and this is how you get a hold of me, you want to get involved in this. I'd like to have somebody do this that knows what they're doing. I had Rod Warren doing this, and he was doing fabulous. I, I can't get through to him anymore. I got blocked from being on Facebook for life. I lost all my contacts, because that's where I was doing business. And Just one day, no warning, boop, you're done. And that's it, I can't get back on. So that's the way it works. Now, um, and if anybody knows Rod... I would love to get back into contact with him, Rod Warren, if over in Australia. Anyway, this, I believe, does the same thing they're doing, only they're using a carbon fiber vibrating somehow. And as they claim it takes 2 kilowatts, which is 2,000 watts, to make their vibrator work. And it gives you a net out, or a complete output of 7, so they get 5 net. And they claim they can increase it by putting more more vibrators in there. I, I don't know. We can increase ours by just putting more lasers in there. And the lasers are just like the, your thumbnail, not even. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And these get a hell of a big blast. And all we got is, is raw, raw, raw white energy. So we may get free energy. Now, the other one, I don't know. i got to wait and see what happens with it. But they claim it's, uh, they're touting it as being ready for, the, ready for use. We'll find out very shortly. It's a German company, and uh, nobody in the United States wanted to pay any attention whatsoever to what I was showing. All right, so as I said, this is my design, which is the pulse red laser into the Venturi creating fission at the venturi, fusion on the other side. But before it fuses back together, right in here, we intervene and put a collector, just a very simple collector, almost like a solar collector right here. And this is all it would look just exactly like this. The laser shoots, the black particles can't get through. They force the white particles through in, in an extremely burning particle. And that's raw electrons. We use a little bit of it to keep the laser going. The rest goes to do whatever we want with it. And that is so much raw energy. I, I, I think it's just astronomical. And it's sprayable right onto a substrate. 
I don't think you can get any better than that. And we're only using light, so we're not using heavy particles. This is light. We started with the two di the Dirac particle, which is the muon and electron neutrino, turned it into showers and the muon, which is fission, brought it back to fusion. We intervene here, and that white will be so desperate to get back to that black, it will go through all of our devices and charge and run and drive cars and boats and pump water and run equipment and helicopters and anything you want, anything. And you carry it around like that. And that's what this other place is doing too. I hope, I hope they come up with a design that works. I don't know if this will work or not. I think it will. I think it will. That is brilliance. That is luminosity on steroids. And if that is the case, that's what they say gives you free energy. And these are the particles, and we've seen them, fission and fusion. And these are the same particles that Fermi Lab sees and CERN. It's just that they didn't know where they came from. They just knew that they were the smallest particles they could find in the cloud of debris. We actually see them begin their journey and then break apart and then come back together. We get in between the coming back together, we got free energy. Okay, exactly as Fermilab reported, this one here is the dark matter and gravity and it is the, it's just nothing but a fixed particle and it will smash the house to bits. This is the crust the glowy part that pushes away from each other that will surround that dark matter as I will show you in space it does the black goes to the center so the white will always surround it when the atomic bomb goes off the white goes out first and that is what we want to harvest and when I show you what this white looks like when it hits a house it just burns it it doesn't move the house it just burns it this is the white. The black, if it hit the house, it's going to knock the house to shreds. And I'll show you that happening right now. What we want is the white, and we want to harvest it through that little device I was showing you. I've shown this many, many times. This is Apple's Q house, and this is Adam Central. Now, I got the sound turned off, and I am going to slow this down to 25%. It's already slowed down. So this is really makes it slow. The first thing that will happen, like I said, you have, you have two situations going on here. The white particles crust around the black. That's just the way it works. They are the ones that push, and they push the black into the center. So the black will be here, the white will hit first and burn it. This is what we want to harvest, and that is what I showed you with that white spray. Now here it comes. Alright, the first thing that will happen, you just see a big splash of white come up. There it goes. Now, watch this. Just nothing but burn. Nothing moved. Not a single thing moved. Now, that is exactly what we want to harvest. Is that burning part. That's the part that does the work. That will, the black will suck that back so hard that it'll, it'll just It'll go through your devices and drive cars and do everything. Now watch what happens. Now comes the black after it. And the house will just explode. Boom. Okay, so they're two obviously different particles. One of them has the mass, which is the second one. The first one has no mass and all burn. The second one, all mass and no burn. It wasn't burning. It just hit it and knocked it away. So I think this shows pretty well that... I'm on the right track here. 